<laughs> Literally using that as a cut point. Um, let's see. Let's look see if there's more cars. I don't think there's are more cars quite yet. Um, but there may be. Not that I can buy currently. So. Let me back. Go to the main menu. Go to the main menu. Let's see what the main menu has on it. Thank you for driving carefully. I didn't realize what it said before. But yeah, one of the cool things, it is in, in cooperation with Games Workshop. Um, so it looks like this one right now is the only one I've got access to as far as Seasons goes. But it may, this may be the main car type that you get to work with for right now. Um, I'm not sure if ARG Digital is still in chat or not. They may, they'd be able to answer that more than me. And it may be something that they're not looking to, to uh, talk about. You can customize your car um, a little bit. I have noticed that you can't really see the license plate as well. Um, I wonder if a different color might help that. So, I want it to be green though. I enjoy the green. Maybe we'll go with the purple here. Nice, Ark, thank you so much for stepping in and letting us know about this. So there are seven more cars, um, plus this starter one here, so. Um, so it makes a total of eight, I think, is what they're getting at. So that's super awesome. Yeah. So I've got here, it's not as easy to see, I think, while you're racing, as far as that was one thing that I was noticing. But yeah, um, I'm trying to see if a different color might make it more readable uh, while it's on the track. Um, just trying to see, like, all the color variations here. I almost think that blue color makes that white pop out, or the text pop out really good. But yeah, one of the neat things they were talking about you could do with this is so, so say you have someone do a, uh, um, do a thing. So if I find an opposite color than the main scheme really makes it pop. Gotcha. That purple green, I had it going green for a while. Um, but yeah, so say like say you had somebody to follow or whatever, and you could uh, you could put their name on there for while, well, however long you wanted to, or you can put you know a donation or another another sub or something on the back of it there like that. Um, while you're doing that, kind of change it up a little bit. Um, we'll see. Let's. I'm gonna put Always on there and see what happens. Always is a good friend of mine. He does a lot of indie Indian uh, um, classic console gaming. So, all right, let's see if we can see that one. Let's go run one more here. Missions. Right, we'll try an easy escort mission. How about that? We'll try an easy escort. I'm, not, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the escorts. I don't, I don't do good on uh, keeping myself from getting shot with lasers, much less somebody else. Oh, I'm nervous. But yeah, so if you run up on it, you get a little bit closer. Okay, it's much better closer. It's just a matter of how far back it is. Oh, no, no, you are perfectly fine. That's what I'm here for. Uh, that is what I do. That is my goal in streaming like I do. Um, I want to help developers out as much as possible. Um, I'm not a great gamer. I'm not a big streamer yet. Um, but my goal is to make sure you guys can present the best game you can possible. And also at the same time be able to share with other people. Um, I, I just enjoy being a little part of, of that. Um, process is all I really do, and of course I have, I'm really. <laughs> Get the other one! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Oh, I want another one blow up too. Get off my friend! Oh, I was hoping he'd blow up off, he'd fly off the bridge. Alright, 
problematic. Let's see, we're gonna shift over here. All right, let's get the rocket launchers going. <laughs> Toasty! Hey, you, you go ahead and go up. You can go ahead and head up. I'm gonna drop some bombs here. Speed back up. Still back there. Oh, too far back. Alright. You are not going very fast, escort person. No one's up there yet. I'm gonna slow down. I see them. <laughs> um, these ones don't seem to be doing the things I'm thinking of. I know the space button. Um, I see these over here. I haven't quite used them yet. Probably need to try to do a break here. Up a little bit. There we go. Alright. What else we got? Boost. Repairs. F1. Probably could, wouldn't hurt to do that. Match speed. Okay, that that's probably going to be a good one. All right, y'all getting lit up. <laughs> I right, see if we get this pipe bomb from this guy. Nope. Oh, oh, rocking me hard. Quit it. I shipped over. All the things. Got him. Oh, I mean, scoot over. Oh no, you're coming to me. Let's not scoot over. Oh, you're staying right there. Let me scoot, let me scoot, let me scoot over then. Oh, he got around me. Oh, there's more friends up here. Ah, people are coming from everywhere. Oh no, I gotta take care of this guy. Oh, he shifted over. Dag nabbit. Alright, so we can speed up here a little bit. And lock and load. Right, get off my friend. I'm glad I don't accidentally hit my own guy though, that'd be rough. Oh, what are you doing? You crazy. You crazy person. Alright, you're about to take a flight. Knock myself up? Whoa, simmer down. Oh, I'm almost there. There's a pipeline. Yeah, that's on my buddy. Okay, good. Woo! Woo! Alright. Reminds me of some convoy, but in 3D. <laughs> Alright, we got our loots. Got our sponsor leveled up too. Ooh. Oh, please, come on, come on, please be dangly dice in the thing. Ah, oh, why aren't the fuzzy dice in the shop when I need them to be there? Ooh, Catherine Romanoff. That seems like it's a a, uh, a connection somewhere. Nice. Oh, there we go. I guess that was it. <laughs> Welcome back. I forgot to say, my name's Quinn, the biosurgeon around here. I didn't go to medical school or get a fancy degree, but I quickly became the best and only doctor around after I paid for my own medical franchise via the local Gentech representative. Purchase one tier, one or better items. Should have already done that. I'm going to lose some armor if I'm going to try to add this. There we go. Cool. I completely didn't see any of those missions at all until just now. Certainly going to maim. Rec 
recover data. Complete data heist missions to complete the objective. Okay, sweet. This is a whole other tier. This data heist. Nope. That's another escort. Doesn't look like there's any more data. Why is that? Why is that got a plus on it? Ramming does increase. Oh, look, neat. So there's like different kind of additions that actually add into the game um, each run as well. This one has a mutator, which allows for super ramming. So if you actually ram into somebody, it does increase damage. Right, let's go. Let's go mess with this. I should. I should have got a. Should have got a op. Fight through a gang trying to blockade the area. Oh wow, it restricts my run. Oh, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful and watch which part of the road you're on. It's looking pretty good at the moment. Are they gonna throw in something in here? Change it up? I'm like scream and freak out. So I need to shift over, it looks like. Oh, you, you use your duty. <laughs> use your buddy as a shield. Take that. Oh, 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 oh. Too far. Ooh, that was close. That was close. We're good here. We'll do like three or four more. That's hard to do. Try to run it. Oh no! <laughs> How do you fix this part? I just try to shift over, I guess. clue how to go backwards. <laughs> Alright, we're going to call for this to fix us up here. There we go. Alright, back on the run here. <laughs> That's what happens when you turn your back. I was hoping to just do the ramming thing there. Massive opening. Oh! We went airborne, am I stuck? I think we're stuck. Hi, bumps! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose all my money. I'm glad I had extra money. That's one good thing, I guess, to make sure you bring extra, extra monies on your mission so you don't get stuck. Oh. Ooh. There you go. I didn't realize that. You hit the LR. Well, that helps a ton. Shift your speed to. <laughs> well, this is gonna be great. Here, have some, have some pipe bombs too. <laughs> oh, come on, refresh. Just a little, little cluster of people. Aw. Alright, everybody has some things. I think I'm good on this run. Ooh, they almost knocked me. Ah! I got through though. What? Well, look at this mess! <laughs> Alright, we got through there though. 
did it. Got through. The pew pew is real. Look at all the. Oh, my recovery cost. I had 120k go to recovering. Alright, let's see though. We gotta see if. Oh, I need fuzzy dice. Self driving Sam. Side armor. I don't have space for that? I do. I'm buying that. Alright, still gotta do a data heist. So recover data, I still gotta do a recovery data mission. So this one Looks like I'm done, but it still has it here. Alright, do we have a data recovery mission pop up? We do not. Ooh, I got a three skull one though. Danger, danger! I might not get to my other game today. I'll just keep playing this one. What's the mutator for this one? Think fast. Command mode is less leisurely, less leisurely than usual. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit on the faster pace. I need to buy some gas. Might as well. I got extra monies. Oh, interesting. So you, I wonder if you just if you just took certain ones. Oh, weird! Stop a gang war. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Prevent one gang from getting the upper hand on. Them. Ongoing war. This is probably going to be interesting because I'm probably going to have to target specific cars. And there's going to be multiple cars that are going to be fighting it out. So, so these are my targets. You guys don't fight. Be nice. Oh, you could shoot me with your lasers. You don't know what lasers are. <laughs> I just did a backflip, I think. That was great. Nice flip. Oh, these are the ones I'm not supposed to be. I'm mildly confused at this point. I need to speed up though, that's slow. I'm like a big circle track. Actually, somebody said something about a U-turn. Oh, oh, here's some more.
if I break. What's you in front of me? Stop! That was pretty intense. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, I'm finding these buttons. Making things go a ton faster. I don't even have to go into command mode? Oh, no. Oh, this just got intense. Why did I not realize that I didn't have to even go into command mode? Goodness gracious. See, I thought I was all hyped about the game being like nice and strategy based and kind of slow paced. Like, you don't even have to go into command mode. about that. Me doing all these flips. Ah, stop spinning. Not what I wanted to do. No! Stuck upside down. Ah, it, I think that really depends a lot on... Um, a lot about replayability probably depends on way more as how much different the, uh, the other cars feel. Um, I got an achievement. Nice. Um, how the other cars feel. Plus, as far as how how deep does this go? How much how much is beautiful chaos? Because some of the some of the screenshots I saw that people were posting um, were pretty epic. As far as the way the explosions were happening um, and the cars were flying out everywhere. Um, and so, like I said, of course, the difficulty level seems to be ramping up pretty quick at this point. One thing is I can't get a recover data mission. This is the third time I've come back and have not been able to get a recover data um, heist mission um, to be able to finish that one out. So that is kind of odd. But I am going to go ahead and switch, though. I wanted to make sure I did some runs of this and then make sure I get some runs of other stuff. Um... But yeah, definitely check this out if you guys get a chance. Arc Digital, thank you for the ability to do this. I'll definitely be doing some more of this for sure on Thursday. Um, if not, some more throughout the week before then. Um, so end goal? Yeah, what is what is the end goal? That is the, that is the question. 
Um, so basically, you are a hired police officer. You're basically trying to get all the gangs that are in in the world in check. Actually, let me see if I can run the intro video real quick. You can kind of get an idea of what the premise of the game is. Um, so there it is right here. So you'll see. There is always another enemy. In the 1950s, it was the Russians. Us and them locked in a cold war. But in 1961, it was against our own people. The rock and roll riots hit. Youth culture clashed with authorities over new music and the movement sweeping across the country that came with it. During the civil unrest of those times, many of rock and roll's upcoming stars were killed in violent protests during concerts. The 60s would bring isolation and stagnation. Nixon beat Kennedy for the White House and immediately set out his agenda. Ask not what's in it for you, ask what's in it for the US. We withdrew from the world stage. Vietnam descended into civil war. Russia intervened, but as the scale of the war grew, its popularity fell. The USSR saw peace movements and embraced social change. Back home in the US of A, business and industry grew unfettered. Corporations became more influential than government. Pollution increased rapidly. The climate began to change. And those who fed off the profits of oil and industry denied anything was wrong. Pretty soon, there were water shortages and famine, and not long after came corruption and rampant inequality. Out of poverty and tension, gang cults formed, becoming more daring and violent as authorities attempted to stop them, making broken cities and the vast big empty their home. In desperation, the Ender V Amendment to the U.S. Constitution opened the door to private policing by sanctioned operatives, which rapidly eclipsed official law enforcement agencies. This is the dog-eat-dog -dog world we live in today, where the gangs and the hired guns and the corporations that pay their bills clash in the scarred wastelands we call home. Welcome to the land for free, North America, 2025. That's, that's the general premise in this dystopian future, which is really, really interesting. That's not that far away as far as timeline goes. Like this is also based on, um, you know, a game that was made several years ago. So, yep, so that's it. Dark Future, Blood Red Skies from Rock Digital. Um, like I said, in cooperation with Games Workshop. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this run today of Dark Future here on Alpha to Beta Gaming. And as always, as I leave you, we'll see you in the next game.